so the next thing that we are going to do is set up our title so right now we have this division to contain both the lines of our title so we will bring this heading text division to the top so for that we will uh, access our heading text here heading text and here we will write position absolute just like we did here in our logo and we will set top to 100 pixels so we have our heading text over here then the next thing that we will do is access our title so we have this title span over here we'll go ahead and access it title so first of all we will uh, set the color of our font to white so we can see it clearly we'll also set the font of our title to this title to to white as well so title to and color white so we have this font now if we type in a property called display block then both these text will be displayed in different lines so this span over here will be displayed as a block complete block and it will not allow anything to enter its space so now we want this GT coding to be centered in our screen so first of all we have to set the width of our parent division that is heading text to 100% so we will write width 100% now we can set text align to center so we have GT coding in the center we also want the second line of text in the center as well so we will write text align center we'll also set its display to block now we have both these lines of text over here now we will apply some more CSS to them so in our title we will say font size to 80 then we will set the font family to impact now we pretty much have the same kind of effect over here and we will also set a shadow for our text to apply shadow to a text we have to specify text shadow and the same parameters that we pass over here uh, the position of our shadow and the intensity of the spread of our shadow and the color of our shadow so here we will just write zero pixels zero pixels because we want our shadow to be around this and without going any without having any offset so we will set to 20 pixels you can see that we have some kind of shadow over here but it is of white color we will set it to black now we have our shadow completely set up if we see over here we have to set our C to red color so for that we have to go back to our HTML and specify something different over here we have to set C in a different span so for that we will write span and we 
we will write c in our span and in span we will uh, define an inline css style is equal to and in double quotes we will write color red so now we have our c in red color now the next thing that we will do is set up our title to so we will go to our css and in title 2 we will set some properties over here first of all we will set the font family we will set it to sans serif and then we will set the font weight font weight is how bold we want the font to be and then we will set the size of our font to 17 pixels and we will also we also have a background over here if we see so to set our background we will set the color of our background to 800 we will also set a padding of 7 pixels so now we have everything set up except we have we should have a border over here black border so we will write border two pixels solid black now we pretty much have our heading text set up and our logo set up so the next thing that we will do is set up our sign up page so the sign up page over here so we will see what name we have given for our sign up so here we have sign up class we'll go back to our css write sign up and in sign up we will set first of all set the color of our text to yellow and then we will set the position to absolute because we want to place it relative to our parent so position absolute and set the position to top 15 pixels and also the right to 15 pixels so we have our sign up button right where we want then we will set the padding to 10 pixels we'll set the font family to georgia and uh, set a background color background color to black so set our background color to black then we will set a border radius border radius to 10 pixels and also a box shadow is 0 pixels 0 pixels and 10 pixels and with a yellow color so we have pretty much everything set up for our sign up pay, uh, sign up button the next thing that we will do is specify what should happen when we hover over this button we don't have much happening we just have our shadow color changing and the text color changing so we will write sign up and with a colon hover and in that we will specify what should happen when we hover over our sign up button so here we will set the box shadow to 0 pixels 0 pixels 10 pixels and dark blue and set the color to light blue if we save this we forgot to put this dot over here so now if we save it we have the 
same effect over here so now we have pretty much set up our heading we have set up the logo our sign up button and we have set both these lines of text now we will go over here to our heading division and set the overflow to hidden now the next thing that we will do is uh, we will set this shadow of our heading text our heading uh, division so for that we will type in box shadow and specify the shadow of our heading division 0 pixels 2 pixels that means it will come down 2 pixels and 40 with an uh, intensity of 40 and black color so the next thing that we want is we want to have an image in our content division so for that we will I will show you a different method to import image without specif specifying it in our HTML so let's go to our CSS and here we will in our content selector we'll go ahead and in in place of this background color we will set background dash image and we will set the URL of our image so content PG so now we have our content BG image in our content division but we don't want it to be plain over here we want this image to scale according to our window so for that we will specify another tag we will write background repeat so in here we have many different options so if you see here no repeat means if we have a small background uh, with then it will not repeat or if we want to repeat it in the x axis or in the y axis we can set all these options over here for now we will set up round which means that the whole image will be displayed on our content and it will scale according to our window so the next thing that we will do is we will set the padding to 20 pixels and font family to Arial and color of our font to white and the font weight bold and text align to center so these are all simple stuff the last thing that we need to do is set up our footer so for that we will go into our footer and here we will uh, I think the content has uh, height is a little bit more so we will set it to 280 pixels um, okay now actually we will set it to 260 pixels now we will go back to our footer and specify our properties we will write text align to center and color of our font to white and we will set a padding of 20 pixels and the font family to the homa and uh, also set the background of our footer to hash 600 
I think that's pretty much it. I think we need to have text weight to bold. Excuse me, font weight to bold. Now we have our our footer set up. So I think that's pretty much it. So we have created our web page exactly as we wanted. I think we need to set the set the opacity of our banner image to a little bit lower. So in banner, we will come in here and set the opacity to 0 0.9 so there we go we have created our website so thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any doubts regarding uh, this video you can ask in the comments section if you like this video click on the like button and subscribe to our channel to get more updates thank you